people need to realize in this situation, and this is actually pretty good, is uh, everyone tunnels. Excellent players tunnel all the time, but they tunnel on the right things and not the wrong things. Now, what does this mean? I used to coach COG, right? They try to map out, visualize the game in their head. Okay, what do we need to win? Uh, well, we need a snowball or Riven top lane, and if she doesn't get snowballed, then she has no game impact. Okay, so that's a really good example. You have a Riven or a really or Olaf, and if they don't get ahead, they don't scale very well. Uh, they're like mid-game monsters, and if they snowball, they're, they're nuts. But if they don't, then they're not going to outperform like a Lulu top lane or like a tank top lane at all. And so that makes it really simple. It's like, okay, so that means the jungle focus should be top lane. So I play a lot of control mages. I play Vagar, you know, or, or uh, Vagar, maybe a little bit of Victor. I play Nivea recently. And what I do is I, I think of what, is it, what do I need to do in this team fight? A lot of times I'm just like, all right, we'll just hit the closest target because my AD carry is really short range and I'm not excessively long range. I'm not playing a uh, Xerath or something. So I can't look to snipe backline. A lot of times it's the safest to just hit the, 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 the front thing. And for me, it breaks, it breaks down to just priority lists and that happen when I when the game progresses. So uh, if someone's getting really far, I always think of the, of that while we're going to team fight. I need to keep watch of that guy. Uh, or if let's say they have a, a team comp where it's entirely based on initiation. If I dodge the initiation, that's very telegraphed. Then I automatically win. A good example is Malphite comps. So if you're the AD carry and they have a Malphite, and you need to constantly think, okay. The Malphite's going to ult me at some point. If I flash it, does that mean I win? If the answer is yes, then that's all you have to tunnel on. So that's what I mean when I say you have to tunnel on specific things because uh, in this situation, you should be tunneling as on the AD on the one threat or the mo or like one or two things that just kind of work itself out in terms of a priority for, for you. Whether or not you need to be just hitting the whatever is in front of you, whether or not you need to be protecting a specific player. Like let's say you're playing Lulu. Typically the easiest thing is, okay, I got to make sure... My whatever happens to my front line, whatever happens to my to my other allies, my jungle, my top lane. The most important thing is making sure that my AD survives. And so, as long as you tunnel on the correct things, like the way to win the game. I, although I hate to use the phrase win conditions, but in team fights, um, you have things that you should be focused on, and those are the things you want to be walking the team fights on, so that even though you do tunnel on certain things in team fights, you're actually thinking about the right stuff. Now, if you think about pro players, how did they do this? The thing is, they get stuff wrong all the time. So when they go into team fights, they're just like, they're like, okay, so all we need to do is kite back on this, and uh, and you look for initiation. But then what ends up happening is a lot of times they miscalculated. Maybe a shot caller didn't wasn't able to see the full picture, but you get a better grasp of the situation once you played it out the team fight. If it plays out and it's tremendously in your favor, then you kind of know what you said was right. Alternatively, if you play out the team fight and it's not in your favor, it actually went horribly wrong. You, as as a good shot caller, immediately try to process that information. All right, what went wrong? All right, next time, uh, you can't get caught. You can't get caught. Or maybe the whole game plan was wrong. Maybe instead of cutting backwards, we need to look for a flank because their backline is more effective than our backline, so they can kill our frontline faster. And so they're able to constantly, constantly. Uh, update themselves and update their ty types of focus during the middle of the game to make sure that they're doing the right things. That's why that's why you see have really, really great teams that I don't think people really understand. They don't, no team comes in with all the right ideas or all the right numbers. A lot of teams think on the fly and they're able to process information really well to be able to make this type of effective focus and effective shot calling in the middle of the game that translates into thinking into you thinking, wow, like this team just turned around a huge game. That's because they focus on what's correct and what they need to do to win based on losing a prior team fight.